When it comes to the floods in Australia, how can we tell the difference between chemtrails and regular cloud seeding? This is a really good question. And the answer is actually really easy. The United Arab Emirates in the Middle East know a thing or two about cloud seeding. They perform about 250 cloud seeding operations a year. So how does it work? It starts here, inside the National Center of Meteorology, where a team is constantly monitoring forecasts, looking for potential clouds to seed. The operations only work with cumulus clouds, which are vertical in shape. Did you catch that? Cumulus clouds. There has to already be clouds in the sky for this to work. The white fluffy clouds that look like this. If there's no moisture in the air, there's no point in cloud seeding. You can't create rain from nothing. You then take to the air armed with hydroscopic flares filled with a mixture of potassium chloride, sodium chloride, magnesium, and other materials. It's essentially salt. When the plane reaches the right clouds, the pilots release the flares. Cloud seeding is basically dumping very fine particles of salt into low-level clouds and hoping that a little bit of rain turns into more rain. The UAA government says that it works, but even they say that it can really only make a 20 to 30% marginal difference. In other words, no rain out of a clear blue sky. Real cloud seeding involves dumping salt into rain clouds like these. Commercial airliners, on the other hand, fly at a much higher altitude, way above the rain clouds up here where the cirrus clouds are. Because of their altitude, their speed, and also the exhaust coming out, they naturally produce these thin clouds called contrails, which you've seen crisscrossing the sky like this. They are far too high to be affecting the weather below. So to answer the original question, if you can see it crisscrossing the sky, it's a contrail. It's not the government spraying the atmosphere, and it is not affecting the weather. And if by chance your government is doing cloud seeding with silver iodide, it actually doesn't leave a trail at all which means that this term chemtrail actually doesn't exist. Cloud seeding doesn't leave trails behind.